We've been talking about circles, but let's talk about spheres for a minute. Let's talk about a partially related shape, and that is a right cylinder. To find the area of a right cylinder, you would take 2 pi r times the height plus 2 pi r squared. The first term accounts for the sides of the cylinder. You have 2 pi r, which is the perimeter of the corresponding circle, times the height. That gives you the area of the outside. Then you have 2 pi r squared. The reason you have 2 here is because pi r squared is the area of one end cap. So to get the area of both of them, you need to multiply that by 2. Now similar to how we worked out the area of a circle, we know that the area of a sphere is equal to a right cylinder not including the end caps. So basically if we take the first term from the formula for the area of a right cylinder, that gives us the area of a sphere. If we perform a little substitution here, that will give us the quote unquote textbook formula for the area of a sphere. So we have 2 pi r times the height, and if you look at the diagram here, we can say that the height is actually 2 times the radius. So we substitute 2r for h here, which gives us 4r squared. And we end up with a formula for the area of a sphere, which is, which is 4 pi r squared. Let's talk a little bit about how to keep some of these formulas straight. So we talked about the formula for finding the circumference of a circle, which we determined to be 2 pi r. And then we talked about finding the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. And just now we talked about how to find the area of a sphere, which we determined to be 4 pi r squared. The other important measurement of a sphere is the volume, and the formula for that is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now when you're dealing with these formulas, it can help to keep them straight if you think about the dimensions. Let's say the units we're measuring these in for r is feet. So r is some value in feet. So for circumference, that's a distance. So r would be equal to feet. For area, we know that area is a square value. For example, square feet, square miles, square kilometers. And as you can see here, r is squared. So the dimensions we're going to get from that are going to be in feet squared if we're using feet. The area of a sphere is similar. It's still area, right? So if r is in feet, we're going to get square feet. We know that when we're dealing with volume, we're going to be dealing with units of measurement that are cubed. For example, a cubic centimeter. If we're trying to find the volume of a sphere in r is in feet, we're going to get cubic feet. So if you have these formulas memorized in general, and you're dealing with a shape, you can kind of think your way through, especially if you remember more or less how we derived or worked out the circumference and area of a circle, as well as the area of a sphere. So I hope that helps. As always, please use the exercises to reinforce these concepts.